This is an experience that I will never forget in my life. And it was many, many years ago when I was here at the synagogue, Church of All Nations. One, one day I had the opportunity of going to the prayer mountain, which I'm sure most of you are aware of. It's, it's a beautiful place of nature which is set aside for prayer and reflection. So this is many years ago. I went there and I was there praying in an attitude of prayer. And where I was, at a distance, far away, I just saw someone on their knees and they were praying fervently, engaged with God. I didn't recognize the person, but the person was praying on their knees. And I drew a little bit closer, and it was then I, I realized who it was. It was Prophet T.B. Joshua, on his knees before his creator in prayer. That scene, that sight touched my heart. I remembered what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. You can take your time to read it. The scripture there clearly tells us that the results which everyone sees is just an overflow of the relationship that no one sees. And later that very same day, when I saw Prophet T.B. Joshua, he called me. And I will never forget this. He said, I want to show you something. Because I, he had seen that I saw him in that mode of prayer. He was just wearing shorts. And he pulled up his shorts and showed me his knees. The skin on his knees was thick, hard. If you used a knife to cut, no blood would come out. And he said the following words. This is the secret of my life. I live my life on my knees. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I live my life on my knees. He went further. He then said, this doesn't mean that physically I'm all the time on my knees, but my heart is always on its knees before God. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, live your life on your knees. This is what I want to talk about today. Prayer. 